far as I know, mate, we're on this thing called the Alpine Challenge. Up for this challenge, it's a lot of strategy. It's a lot of post-it notes attached to peace maps. So it's not like uh, good charity, good uh, good adventure. I love, uh, love skiing, so I thought I'd uh, thought I'd get involved. I love skiing and snowboarding, and I like any charity that supports getting kids on the hill. So it's good. We're here to enjoy it first, and uh, some of us are competitive. We might try and win it. We haven't got a real plan. We're just thinking we're going to check the weather, and then we're probably going to go and do the furthest away first, and then work our way back. I think. We've got our piece map out. We've checked out our 15 points and and look at the left half of the piece map first and the right half of the piece map second. But we, we know checkpoints are king. We're going to do day two on day one. Uh, no, you're taking part, aren't you? <laughs> Woo! Oh, no, sorry. So you're going to do no, day no, two no, no. on day no, no, one. No, 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 explain. No. I'm Sarah and I work for the Morsian Tourist Office. Take it easy, Take be careful on the piece, but have a lot of fun. That's what it's about really, isn't it? Very, very warm welcome to the Slow Camp Alpine Challenge. Fantastic to have you here. We want to win. We've got a game plan now. We didn't have one yesterday, but we stayed up all night. How long have we stayed up for? Like, two hours, three hours. Planning. So we're going to win. Team good to go, there or thereabouts, number one, or two or three, top three definitely. We're going to start with some rosé, uh, and then probably move on to the red after the main thing, with the cheese. That's the cheese. I think it's cheese, cheese board, cheese board, cheese board. Yeah. Uh, tactics. Team tactics. Not <laughs> Organisation. And it's best to do the man. Five minutes. <laughs> Why not? Lift one, we're doing it's Where are we going, yeah. Alex? Yeah. Oh, we're in the lodge. Leger. You know, at nine o'clock. It's all about Leger. Leger. Yeah. Hell yeah! It's gone green that time, but they're not letting me through again. Look. It's not letting me through. Oh, f sake. Hi! Chris! Ready? Ready? It's beautiful snow. Oh, my friend. That's a steam awaiting person. The Montana. I love to ski. Amazing piece. Look at this. Woo -hoo. <laughs> uh, my name is Adrian Whaley, I look after Track Track um, and we're providing the tracking service today for the Alpine Challenge. Um, what we do is basically provide everybody with one of these little devices here. Throughout the day we're able then to watch all of the teams uh, as they ski around the mountain, around the Port Soleil area, to see how fast they were going and to basically check the distance they were traveling. Also interesting to see suddenly when they stopped for you know 20 30 minutes and we were thinking what's happening here and they we ring them up and they're having lunch. We're just gonna go for a hot chocolate. But then also afterwards the uh, competitors themselves are able to go back and actually look at the tracks that they've done and also all of their 
um, competitors have done. So they, if they wanted to this evening, could spend a lot of time analysing the best route to go tomorrow and you know, who's done the best and uh, which best routes to, to follow. a good start to the morning. Um, Teamlastminute.com is not quite living up to its name. I think we're doing okay at the moment. Photo time. Yeah. My thighs are killing me. Yeah. But it's a good it's deep burn, tired, so though. it's very good actually. Yeah, it's going well, it's going well. Legs are getting a bit tired now. The team is called uh, the Fools on the Hill because we're all very old and very uh, yeah. foolish. In fact, the total age of the five of us is 312. Um, I'm Simon Scott and I'm in Team Risky Business. We did quite a lot of kilometres and we did all the checkpoints, but um, like it does it takes its toll. But I think there's going to be penalties and things like that for like illegal bus drives. So we'll see what happens. We're moaning. We got fined by the management. Ten kilometres for getting a bus. We got lost, it's fine. It's been a hard day, but a good day. So tomorrow, we're gonna smash it. Still got energy. And that back is We're on our night hike now. It's right up there with the last things I like to do. Yeah, absolutely. We'll just do what we can, that's all. <laughs> Oh, that was tougher than I thought. Oh, raring. Is there rosé inside? Dude, there was nothing left. I just did about, like, I don't know, six laps. Found the team, found the team. Vroom, vroom. Who is the best sledder on the Alpine Challenge? Bienvenue à la deuxième journée. We want to get all 15 done by the morning and then just be clocking up as many miles as we can in the afternoon. This is what winners look like! We're winners! Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Tom, you'll be hearing from my lawyer in the morning. <laughs> what a fabulous, fabulous day. Well, we only have to do 15 checkpoints, okay. but we did two of them twice, so we've like done 17. Right there, and then, uh, We're definitely in the top 10. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel my legs. Can't feel we get to the wall to give out. So we'll start off with, with the fundraising. With a total currently, they've actually promised more, which is ridiculous, considering they've raised 12,671. The Fools on the Hill. Winning the bronze medal team eclectic. Silver medal, the snow cap super ball. The gold medal winners and winners of the Alpine Challenge 2013. It is the DHO Warriors. Yeah. 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 Hello guys, come on. Oh!
<laughs> yeah, really great. We really enjoyed it. We, I think we massively underestimated the uh, the quality of opposition, so we were slightly underprepared, um, lacking a plan, uh, and just went with a lot of uh, a lot of courage and balls <laughs> straight down the slope as quickly as we could. But, yeah, I think we're coming back with a, an, a, an A and a B and a C team because we've got some really good skiers in the company, and I think they'll be really up for it next year. And, Hopefully, add a bit more quality to the competition. Yeah. It's been, it has genuinely been a tough event. Um, I've been snowboarding for seven years, and I've never no, ridden no, no, no. so far in such a short amount of time. You do not get a break. So I know it seems like everyone's going on a snowboard holiday or a ski holiday. It's so far from the truth because it is just nothing but pain. Great charity, and I'd love to support them again in the future. Whether it's the snow camp rally or doing the Alpine challenge, you know, either are great challenges to do. I think it shows a social interest of like big companies, like even even around here, like people don't know a company, but they see it's like a financial um, financial beast rather than someone who cares for the community. So that's something that's why they want to get involved in it. So caring side of the company. For me, 10 out of 10, it's been fantastic, really enjoyable, really hard work, good crowd, really well organised, yeah, De definitely worthwhile getting involved. The event was absolutely fantastic. The whole event works superbly, I think, for everybody. We're here for two reasons. Is, uh, one is to actually have some fun. The second reason is to raise money for the charity. The fact that the charity is relatively small, getting involved working with Darren and his colleagues at uh, Snow Camp, you really do feel you actually can have some benefit out of the investment you're making in both time and money. Here you go. Thank you very much. Now then. Um, <laughs> Done. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, like my shins feel like some like a toddler. He's been whacking him with a sledgehammer all day. It's so ready, ready. No poor, do some twirls, baby. That's pretty good. Wow. <laughs>